What's up and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you an exploit fishing hunting method that's going to help you net more money while you're out getting your grind on, getting your money ready for that next update that's hopefully going to bring some cool new fun things to the game. I'm Bandit Barney, bringing you everything you need to know about Red Dead Online and Red Dead 2. Thanks for stopping by. What you're going to need to do is go to Lagrasse. You can just fast travel there. Always I like to get my own lobby, so I loaded in New Austin to begin with. And you're going to go right above Lagrasse to this area right here. Now, just for safe measure, I'm also going to turn off social matchmaking because we're going to be moving around here and it'll be helpful to keep this area fresh for as long as possible now while here take out the couple gators or uh one it looks like we have right now and then we can get started so because this is going to be the most effective efficient money making method here what we're going to be doing is also i'm going to skin this gator because he's got big game meat on him good gator skin we're going to come by more later, but I want to start off with one of the most surprising and interesting parts of this and the exploit to our method here, which is if you just walk in the swamp here and you pull out your fishing rod and put on our, let's put on our special lake lure. And as you can see, we got a bunch of fish here, right? So we just got a ton of fish uh, right in front of us. But the interesting part is that all these fish are just going to start swimming over and eliminating themselves they're just going to start swimming up and killing themselves here on the shore without us really doing anything in the meantime throw your lure in and reel it back to kind of get this process going but you can see some of the big guys starting to come up and just swim over to me they're just going to be swimming right in to the land here we're also going to be catching the, I think this is a bass we got here. That's two bucks right there. You can see all these big guys swimming up right here and boom, there goes the catfish. Now, the smaller fish are a little bit harder to get to kill themselves. The big fish you can only carry one of. This method works really, really well though. If you have a cart with you, you can use that. But it's my preference that the carts aren't necessarily the most effective method because you end up taking a while to go get the cart and everything so instead i'm going to show you guys how we're going to move on from here let's see if i can get one more on my line come on bye boy all right is this a bass please be a bass let's feel oh it's, it's a big boy it's a big boy i might just break the line on him because we don't need these guys they're going to be just killing themselves over to the left we don't need to get these guys holy shit. this is a big fish dude look at that this is the biggest fish i've ever caught it's only 14 pounds that looks way more than 14 pounds so you got your catfish you can see over here all these fish as soon as i stepped into the swamp and pulled out my uh my fishing pole they all started swimming towards me and they're the big guys are killing themselves these little guys are kind of just hanging out a little bit but what we can do is we can just run over here and we're just going to start pushing them right they're going to run they're going to wait we got a chain pickle right here no nope, that's not a chain pickle that is definitely that's a catfish that's a catfish pull up on our eagle I see where we got okay so we got right here is a bullhead catfish we got I think a pickerel right behind me yep and as I ran in these guys started head towards the shore and we got them going up here another bullhead catfish make sure when you're here you're grabbing them up before they go down into the uh, before too long because they will sink the fish will actually sink and just go to the bottom of the lake. What else we got here, buddy? Come on, show me to get it, boy! Chain pickerel. These, I think these are a dollar or these 75 cents. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've done any fishing. I like the hunting, man. That's why we're actually going to combine this method with a uh, hunting part right up here real quickly. That's really, really good. The channel catfish. So these are only worth five bucks, I think, as, as big dudes. But... We're gonna throw one on our on our uh, horse because they are three star, and five bucks for a carcass is gonna be good. It's better than an alligator uh, pelt. Alligators have pelts, skins. Alligator skin, yeah, alligator skin. And let's pull it out. I wanna get one more rotation here before I quickly show you the other area that's gonna maximize your efficiency here and make this one of the best hunting methods and fishing exploits in the game for intention of just showing you guys how to make this the most effective what i'm going to do is jump on my horse and actually bring you over to the next area which we're going to be going right over to the north end of these swamps and making our way down as we head on over there it's oh oh oh, oh. make sure you're getting those big game meats boom got that boom got that 
big game meats and the best ones to get are the mini alligators because you can actually take their skins without uh holding a, a large carcass spot on your horse so if you see those they're few and far between when you get them get them make sure you get these good i think these are the pks no these are the boars perfect boar skin right there nice part about this rotation you're going to be going through a few different areas where you have mass spawns of these different animals so you're going to get that fish area then you're going to have the gators then you're going to have the boars and then we're going to go into the uh the bread and butter is the birds i don't know why i just couldn't speak there for a second but the bread and butter is the birds all right get the muskrats they're they're worth I, I can't remember what they're worth, but they're really good and they're super easy when you can't find them. So let's let's pick this guy up and skin him, and then I'm not gonna keep the uh, the carcass again, but the skin on the muskrats. Mula, 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 get your mula. Okay, and now we've made it over to the swampy area. Now this is where you want to go, eagle eye, because look here, look at all of these birds we have, tons of them, tons of them here. Great blue hair on this is a perfect hair. Uh, Hair on, I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Oh my gosh, come on, how is that not a... Okay, so we just got four, and then there's four more behind it. All right, we're getting mad plumes today, folks. Mad plumes today, baby! <laughs> Tri-colored, this is going on the horse. Get the three-star ones, oh my gosh. Oh my lordy, there's so many birds. These guys are, these birds, just for note, when you shoot them when they're in the air, it's normally one shot kill, but sometimes when they're on land, you miss the head, and then you end up damaging them and you don't get as much, so sometimes it's even better to just let them fly before you get them. Yeah, spook them a little bit before you start shooting them. Now what can be smart, and something that I actually just didn't do, which isn't the smartest thing, is instead of skinning the three star ones right away <clears throat> just stick them on your horse because we have so many birds here we're gonna run max on plumes right so instead of skinning them right away just put them on your horse that way you can essentially carry more plumes than your satchel will allow you get the 10 plumes on your satchel and then you keep uh two three star ones on your horse that you haven't skinned when you get to the butcher you then skin those after you've sold some of the plumes now if we're if, if you're if you're going around to like just get the most out of your hunting method that is going to be one of the best spots to just like there's so much money right there um and it's so easy to get now what you want to do is just roam through here if you haven't gotten all your gator skins quite yet thought i heard a muskrat i think there's stuff underneath this but off to the left here will be some more birds if you haven't gotten them. I'm, I'm totally maxed out. Looks like we got some more po We got possums. And possums play dead. So just kill them when they're dead. Very stupid animal. You are. Very, very stupid animal. And essentially now we're just going to head back to the butcher. And on your way you're going to have some more things to hunt. You can, you can maximize the effectiveness too. If before you hit the fishing method hit the uh let's say you start in roads before you hit that fishing spot right there in roads right across this bridge right here is uh spoonbills so you can get spoonbill plums too and you can get up to four that spawn at that same spot if you get all four of them then you're going to max out on plumes as long as you get the efficient kills but we're just going to go into the butcher now and that's going to be an extremely effective route for us getting fish while hunting sometimes people like when you think about it, a lot of time you're just going for the uh you're either hunting land animals or you're fishing and we're not necessarily combining both but when you have a spot that that's that's as easy as that spot is in lagrosse to just get the big fish as well as get the smaller ones uh and you when you pull out the lake lure you can get even small mouth bass to spawn even if you just spend a little bit fishing there you're gonna get a lot of money from that fishing and then just roam over to the birds before you do any before you leave and now we have the money the moolahs the make it the bank baby i wish sometimes the butcher would give you different rates for if something was rare or not it's the same rate every time but this isn't the case sometimes the butcher has better price all right so we want to make sure we don't sell this uh the spoonbills or the, sorry the hair, hair 
Heroines. We don't want to sell the herons. So we got that raccoon. Let's get rid of that. Sell these. Do we get two bass here? Two largemouth bass. And again, if you just stay there longer, you're going to be able to get much more than that. Oh, we got. We need to do one more big gamey. That's all right. We got our gator tooth. So now I'm going to save those uh, to sell the bluegills. Seventy-five cents. We got our pickerels, a dollar each. Then we got here our catfish, seventy-five cents each. You got our big one, the channel catfish. We're going to throw that on there. And then we have the muskrat. Okay, don't sell these. What we're going to do is we're going to sell all of these. So 15 bucks on all the plumes. Now I'm going to sell one more solo thing to try and avoid the butcher glitch. Sweet, we've avoided it. Now that I've sold another solo thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride over here, remove this, and then we're going to skin it. Should be three more there. Oh, two. Hey, stupid. Put it back on the horse so we're ready to sell. And then I'm going to go take care of the other one real quick. Sweet. We got that taken care of. Now let's go back to the butcher. And we just made an extra $6 by not skinning those spoonbill plumes. If you get the perfect, or sorry, the hair on plumes. If you get perfect ones, I think you get more plumes from that. So you can be more effective in that regard. So let's sell those guys. Then we're going to sell the plumes. And we got those two perfect possums. Let's get those out of here. Boar tusk. You can get plenty more boar there as well. Um, and then we have the stringy meat. The alligator teeths. And the gamey bird meat. What's this? Scent glands. We don't need those. And guys, that's how you're going to be able to use an exploit fishing method to combine with hunting those birds to make in a very, very effective hunting method. On top of this, start a story mission and get in a private lobby with your buddies. That's going to make this that much better. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. And until the next one, we'll catch you later.